Hey guys, this is Travis with Browsy Acres. I want to go ahead and introduce you to Bavette. She's a five-year-old full-blooded Japanese Wagyu. We will be going and harvesting her for our personal family, but her genetics will be carried on through Myrtle. When she first got here, she would not let anybody come anywhere near her. And just through the little bit of time and patience and, you know, just some love, uh, she, she lets us come up to her and scratch her now. She really likes it on her butt. They all kind of have their spots. You gotta, just gotta find them, huh, mama? So when Bavette first came here, she was only grass-fed. You could kind of tell the difference, uh, especially when she, was, she had been here for a couple of months and her, uh, her hip bones really kind of disappeared. When she first got here, you could really kind of see them, which is natural. It's not a bad thing. It's just when we get ready to start feeding them out, we will add a grain into their, into their diet and it'll really get them nice and fat. And with the Wagyu, what they're really known for is the intramuscular um, fat or the marbling is what people call it. And so what you do when you adding the fat onto that is you are actually adding it within the muscle. So um, that's what we've been doing here for the last about four or five months, uh, six months now with her is just kind of getting her ready for harvest and she's uh, coming up on her time now. <laughs> 